Hi guys, this is Miss Rhodes, and I know I just had you up in the library, but I wanted to give a quick tutorial on how to access all of these sites in order to write your essay on the impact of the cotton gin. You are going to be answering the question, what is the impact of the cotton gin on the United States? And you need to find evidence and resources to back up your thesis. Remember, your thesis can be <clears throat> negative or positive. Um, and you can also take both stances since it's an informational essay. You can explain both sides of it. But I'm going to show you how to find your evidence, pull your evidence, and how you can access these sites. So the very first thing is um, we have all these two documents that you can use in your essay. Um, we did give you a graphic organizer in class. It's also on this PowerPoint. But you want to pull three pieces of evidence to write your essay. So the first thing is I'm going to click on this PowerPoint and it's going to go over the assignment. So what were the impacts of the cotton gin on the United States is the essential question that you're answering. And you should be able to read and analyze multiple documents and resources to write an informational essay. You are going to write a five paragraph informational essay with correct grammar and cite your sources in your essay. To do this, um, I shared this video in class and we also read the attached sources in class and read the directions. But to research, to get our information, we're going to go to Destiny Discover because you need to be able to fill out this graphic organizer. So from the resources we provided, you should have one piece of evidence in this box here. Now you still need to find two more pieces of evidence to back up your topic sentence. So I'm going to go back. Um, you're going to click Destiny Discover. Click it and it should load Destiny Discover where you can search using our databases. Our databases that we have are ABC Clio and EBSCO. So I'm going to click on ABC Clio and it does make you choose your school district. So I'm going to scroll down Washoe County School District and let's see Washoe County and then press continue. Now because I'm on campus um, it will automatically log me into Washoe County School District's database and I can search the cotton gin. So I'm going to type in cotton gin and enter. So it will pull up all the articles that I have here. These are all vetted articles so you <clears throat> they are safe to use in your essay. If you are doing this from home, you will need a password to log into ABC Clio. And how you get the passwords is it's on Washoe County School District's main site. So I'm just going to go to Google and I'm going to type in um, Clayton Middle School. And it should pull up Clayton Middle School right here. It's the first website. And make sure it's obviously in Reno, Nevada. So you're going to click on that and it brings us to our main website. Under our main website, if you click on the library link, you can see that we have a lot of links here, um, but we need the database passwords. So I'm going to click on database passwords. And if you're at home, you would need to click on ABC Clio right here. And the username is Washoe Schools. Washoe password is Washoe Schools Nevada. If you wanted to use EBSCO, you would click here. Username's Washoe. Password is Pyramid with a capital P to exclamation point. Um, you may also use Learning Express if you would like, and it does make you create your own login. So, Worldbook as well. Um, and here is the username is Washoe. Password's Nevada. So these are here if you need to get on at home. I'm going to go back to Destiny Discover. So I just showed you how to look on ABC Clio and it pulled up several articles here. Let's just pretend I wanted to look at the American History link. Now some of these are just photos. I do want to find a resource. Uh, let me click on this one. That would give me information that I could use in my essay, whether it's positive or negative. And let's just say I wanted that one. I could copy it and I could um, paste this into my essay if I would like. Now I'm going to show you how to use EBSCO. So I'm going to go back to Destiny Discover. I'm going to click on EBSCO. 
And again, um, you will need to log in from home using those passwords on Clayton Middle School's website under the library tab. But we're at school, so I'm going to click on Middle School Resources. And then it's going to pull up a search bar at the top. I'm going to type in Cotton Gin. And it should pull up many resources that I can use. So um, let's just say I wanted to use this one. I can click on it. Um, I can read out of here any kind of information that I would want to use. I can highlight it. And the last piece I'm going to share with you is, yes, you may use Google, but you need to make sure that they are credible resources. So um, you're going to have to evaluate whether it's a credible resource. I went to Google. I typed in Cotton Gin. And like this one on History.com, that would be a credible resource that you could use. So I'm just going to open it so you can see it. Looks like it's still loading here. Um, we don't want ads. Okay, so you could you could scroll down and use any of this information in your essay. So again, you would just copy it and you would cite either the author's last name after your piece of evidence in your essay or if it did not have an author's last name you would use the title of the article so in this case it would be cotton gin and eli whitney would be the title so now i have all these pieces of information i want to save all of this information so i'm going to go back to destiny discover and um, in my age, we had to write everything down on a 3x5 card for our websites. And sometimes we lost the 3x5 cards or sometimes we wrote one letter off. But we couldn't get back to that website to find our information. So you're going to go back to Destiny Discover and under Collections, you're going to click See All. Now, once you click See All, you are going to log or you're going to log in at the top right hand corner. See where it says log in. You're going to click there. And you, the Fallout account doesn't let you log in with your Microsoft information. So to log in with our, micro, our Microsoft information, you're going to click on the blue bar. When you click on the blue bar, um, it will then, mine automatically logged me in, but it will ask you for your student ID at washoeschools.org and your password. And that's how you would log in. So now that I'm in to my account, I'm going to click on my private accounts. And you will most likely see an orange ad bar up here, but mine's at the bottom. So I'm going to click add. And I'm going to add a new um, resource for the cotton gin. So click add, and then I'm going to type cotton gin. Oops, I misspelled it. And then you are going, you don't need a description, but you could put a description in. I'm going to keep it as private. And then I'm going to press create. Now under here, I can add all my websites that I want. So I'm going to press add item. I'm going to go back to this and I'm going to copy the whole entire website at the top. So control C. And then I... And then I am going to go back to my article. So let me go back and I'm going to paste it in here. So control V and add. So now that I'm adding it, I can see that this is saving my website here and I'm going to add another one. So I'm going to click the bar at the bottom again and I want to add this article. So I'm going to copy it, control C Go back to my collection, control V, and add. Okay, so all of these resources are now in my collection. I can come back to them at any time just by logging into Destiny Discover, clicking on collections, and clicking that blue bar. Anytime I want to go back into it, I would click on it and log in. Um, you can use this information in your essay. So if I go back to the assignment, I'm going to close this. Uh, well, before I close it, here is a student example of what this essay could look like. Remember, you're not copying from here. Um, but they did have evidence. They put 
the author's name and the page number. Most of you will be using online resources, so it's just the author's name. So I'm going to close that. Um, you can use that as an example, but then you're going to open your essay here and start typing your five paragraph essay. You do need to have three pieces of evidence. You may use Google, you may use EBSCO, or you may use ABC Clio um, or Learning Express, any of the resources that we have provided you. You can also use one piece of evidence from these resources here. But your goal is to have your essay typed and turned in by February 13th at 11.59 p.m. Um, if you have any questions, you can email Mr. Wacker or myself, but um, that's it. Thanks.